Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Sunday, April 7th. Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced that the automaker is planning to unveil its new robo-taxi on August 8th. Through Walter Isaacson's biography of Musk, we learned that the Tesla robo-taxi will be quote, Cybertruck-like. After the Cybertruck, Tesla has been expected to release two highly anticipated new vehicles, one being a smaller and cheaper electric car, commonly referred to as the $25,000 Tesla Model 2 and the other being a new dedicated robotaxi, a vehicle designed from the ground up for autonomous driving without any pedals or steering wheel. Tesla has intended to make all its consumer vehicles built since 2016 capable of becoming robotaxis through a software update. But in 2022, Tesla announced plans that it would also build a new vehicle specifically to be a robotaxi. The idea of a robotaxi is to design a vehicle optimized from the ground up for driverless ride sharing. If it is unveiled with the same sensor suite, meaning camera only, it would mean robotaxi mode is available for the entire existing Tesla fleet. Local reports in India claim that Tesla is scouting locations for a factory in the country. Tesla has already started producing right-hand drive cars out of Gigafactory Berlin as it prepares to enter the world's third largest car market. India finally came up with a compromise on its high import duties on cars to open the doors for Tesla as well as other EV makers. The deal involves greatly reducing import duties for a limited number of electric vehicles as long as the automaker makes a significant investment and commitment to build an electric vehicle factory in India. Tesla will send a team to scout locations in India for a proposed 2 to $3 billion electric car plant. The automaker will focus on the states with existing automotive hubs. Elysium Energy is developing a non-flammable, rechargeable battery that's lithium and cobalt-free. These cells take advantage of inherently non-flammable and non-toxic materials such as water-based electrolyte. They are also inherently dendrite-free and immune to conditions that could lead to thermal runaway. These batteries are a suitable option for stationary and grid storage situations where the risk of fire increases as the heat rises. Dr. Kripa Varanasi, co-founder of Elysium Energy, said, quote, changing climates and hazardous environments demand flexible solutions that can meet a range of needs safely and economically. Elysium batteries are ideally suited to both temperate and warming climates. With the help of partner WeLion, NEO has begun mass production of its 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state batteries. With production now underway in China, we expect to see the safer and more energy-dense cells powering NEO brand's EVs as early as this quarter. NEO remains a key player in the Chinese EV market and is one of the many young automakers in the region expanding to new markets around the world. For comparison, NEO's current stations swap EV batteries that are 75 to 100 kilowatt hours in capacity, so the new semi-solid state batteries can deliver significantly more range to drivers in a matter of minutes via the swaps. The new packs are expected to be implemented in several NEO models going forward, likely beginning with the ET7 sedan which has already traveled 649 miles on a single charge with 3% battery remaining. With mass production now underway, NEO appears on track to begin putting that technology out into the market. To boost sales and fend off low-cost Chinese rivals, Kia will introduce a new lineup of affordable EVs and hybrids starting this year. Kia believes lower cost models and hybrids will help fill the gap in EV demand. After global sales slipped 2% last month, Kia is shaking things up with a new business plan. The new strategy is centered around shifting its electric vehicle plans to include more hybrids and affordable EVs in response to a changing automobile market with increased competition and geopolitical uncertainties. Kia expects the EV growth rate will be slower than expected from now until 2026 due to deteriorating global economy and decreased subsidies. Kia is not abandoning fully electric cars, it plans to boost demand by launching a series of new affordable EVs in major markets like North America, Korea, and Europe. Since its major rebrand in 2021, Kia has made noticeable changes in its products design and marketing efforts. Kia already launched the EV5 in China with starting prices around $20,000, undercutting much of the competition. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody asked, when will this generation of battery technology affect EV car prices? Well, EV batteries have been continuing to get better and a bit more cost effective as the industry progresses. And with an increase in competition coming into the market these coming years, we may finally be seeing those prices drop even further. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.